welcome to a short video tutorial of how to create and share student class whiteboard. So this whiteboard app is an application that is already installed in our Microsoft 365 that we can use in facilitating our online classes synchronously and asynchronously. All right, so welcome to my tutorial video. So let's start. So let's start with our goals. So first, our goal, our targeted goals will be how to access Microsoft Online Whiteboard app. And then number two, how to create a student Microsoft Online Whiteboard app. And number three, rename the student Microsoft Online Whiteboard app. And again, the fourth one is since we are going to use this Whiteboard app for our online classes, uh, they should be shared to us by our student, the whiteboard app. Okay. So first, what are the benefits of using Microsoft Online Whiteboard app? So there are, I divided it into two parts. One is for the students and the other one is for the teachers. So number one is for the students, the ability to auto save their work in their cloud. So everything that they are uh, doing on the Microsoft Online Whiteboard app will be uh, auto save in their cloud, and then they can on they can easily turn in their work. So actually, there is no turn in button, but uh, it's just a way of how to manage our class, how their student turn in their work. Then digital digitally write on the screen. So it is applicable only for devices that are touch screen. Then additional tools for collaboration. So instead of just one use, we can also use this as a collaboration tool for our classes. And then for teachers. So number one is it is best used for do now and exit ticket activities. And then at the same time, it is saved in your OneDrive then it's digit digitally right on the screen. So the same as number three on for the students for touch screen devices. Then additional tools for collaboration for teachers, for students and teachers to teachers. And it can be easily shared in the class for discussion. All right. So what the tools that you are needed for this tutorial? So number one is your school setup device. And number two is your Office 365 account. It is usually your school account. So you need to have that handy when you are watching this tutorial. All right, so let's now jump on to our tutorial of how to create. First, our objective is how to access the Microsoft Office Online Whiteboard app. So this, so if you, so what I want you to do first is to open up a web browser. So in our case, you have your Microsoft Edge. So when you click Microsoft Edge, this one will show it to you. So what I want you to do is go on your address bar, address bar and search for Office 365. So Office 365 login. So the first search result is the one we're going to use. So click that. And it will bring you to your Office 365 dashboard page. So this one. So once you click that, it will show up this Microsoft 365 Office dashboard page so office 365 you will see there at the corner uh, that you're on the right place when you see office 365 so this is your this is our dashboard page for office 365 okay so our first goal is to access the whiteboard app so you can see here there is a whiteboard icon says whiteboard literally whiteboard so if it is not showing to you, since I already use it, you need to go to all apps. 
and since it is alphabetical arranged, so these are all the apps that is linked to your school email account. So your Office 365 account. So this is all your apps that you can access and use for your classes. All right, so now let's search for the whiteboard app. So click that. And you will see a bunch of squares and one blue square. So this is now your whiteboard app. So you will see that you are in the correct place when you see whiteboard at the top, whiteboard at the right uh, left hand corner of your screen. So that is whiteboard. Okay, so now we finish our first goal, which is how to access Microsoft Office online. All right, so that is our Microsoft, that is our first goal for today of how to access your Microsoft online whiteboard app. So today, so the next one, we're going to create your student whiteboard app. So how do I do that? So on your, on your whiteboard screen, home screen, you, you just need to create, click create new whiteboard. When you click that, there will be a new page that will pop up and this is now your whiteboard. Okay, this is now your whiteboard. So you can see there are pens that is available for you to use, eraser, a text box, and a notepad. All right, so that is how you create your whiteboard. So just just clicking that plus button on your home screen for whiteboard. All right, so we're done with our second objective. Now, how do we rename a student Microsoft Online Whiteboard app? So, what you what you need to do is click the back the back button that can be found on the upper left corner of your screen. Click that. And it will be on your first list of your whiteboards. So what I want you to do to rename it is click the three dot menu that you can see at the right hand corner of your first whiteboard. So click that and you see untitled whiteboard, rename, click it, and it will be popping up a text box for you to change the name of that whiteboard. So for example, our class, your first name, my first name is, for example, your first name is Eli, Eli, then just rename it whatever your instructor told you to do. So geometry, and that is what is the use for it. For example, for do now activity. All right, so you have now do now activity. Then create, click OK, and you already have your name on your uh, whiteboard. So to access it again, just click the whiteboard. All right, so right after we rename our whiteboard app, what we're going to do next is, on our objective is to share this student online whiteboard app to our teacher. So this time we're going to use our Microsoft Outlook email account, but it's already been, we already been accessed that. So, you see so to access or how to share this uh, whiteboard to our class or to our teacher to your teacher just click this just click the whiteboard and just click share the blue button that you can found on the left uh, right hand corner of your screen that say that says share so click it and there is a button that again you need to click Click it again, share link on, and then copy link. So after you copy the link, what you need to do is to go to your home office, uh, Office 365 home tab, and look for your email. So your email is under Outlook. Okay, so on your Outlook, you need to create a new message. And on your sub, on your do section, send it to your teacher. So your teacher is me, 
Mr. Venturina, gmcs.org. And then add a subject of what is it all about. This is whiteboard. Do now. And just go on your uh, message area and control V to paste the link. So again, control V in pasting your link. Or you can use another option right here at the bottom to paste your link. All right, and then after that, just hit send. And your teacher will receive an email that says it's sharing your whiteboard to them. Okay, so that's all that we have for today. Thank you for joining uh, joining me in this short tutorial video about using your Microsoft uh, Whiteboard app.